I'm Stacy Gordon. Welcome back to That's My Jam. Today's recipe is not only delicious, but it's also a money saver. With the price of everything being sky high right now, we need to cut back and save money anywhere we can. Guys, I don't know how long it's been since you had a pizza delivered to your house, but by the time you pay for the pizza, pay the delivery fee, and tip the driver, it's expensive. Today's recipe was inspired by two of my favorite things to eat, pizza and Philly cheesesteak. This is delicious and my family loves it. And I was able to make this pizza for about $13.50. I'm going to be making one pizza today, but if you stretched it out and made two, still only around $17. We're going to get things going by starting our pizza dough. Now I've got two different dry pizza dough mixes here. One that's about 79 cents and the other that's just under $2. Honestly, both are very good, but for the sake of our video saving money today, we're just going to use the less expensive one. Up until recently, anytime I made my own pizza at home, I just bought the ready-made crusts at the store. Now that I've started using these, those other crusts taste like cardboard. You won't believe how easy these are to make, and they're going to take your homemade pizza game to a whole new level. All right, let's open this up, dump the contents into a bowl. Next, we're going to add one half cup hot tap water. We're going to begin to mix this up with a fork. While I'm finishing this up, I'm going to turn my toaster oven on for just like 30 seconds. I don't want to cook anything. I just want to make sure the inside of the toaster oven is warm so our dough will rise properly. So this is what our dough looks like. All the dry ingredients are mixed in. Now we're going to place some aluminum foil on the top, seal that up. My toaster oven was heating for maybe 40 seconds. I'm going to turn that off and then I'm going to go ahead and place this entire bowl inside the toaster oven. Now I don't want to cook anything at this point. I just wanted to knock the chill off the inside of my toaster oven for just a few seconds before I put my bowl of dough in there to rise. We're going to leave our dough alone for about 30 minutes. Now while that dough is rising, we're going to get our other ingredients ready. I'm starting off with 14 ounces of 100% shaved beef. No fillers, no fake stuff. We're just going to brown this up over some medium to medium high heat. While our meat is browning, I've sliced up some onion and some green pepper. Our beef is brown, our onions and green peppers are ready. I'm going to sit all this over to the side and give our pizza dough just a few more minutes to finish rising. Now would be the perfect time to go down and hit the like and subscribe buttons for me. It really is the best way to help me grow my channel and it does make a difference. Our dough has been rising for a little over 30 minutes and it looks ready. So I've got my hands washed up good. Let's get started. For this particular pizza, I'm going to preheat my oven to 475 degrees. I'm going to be making my pizza in this giant cast iron skillet. I'm going to throw a little flour in my skillet and I'm going to put some olive oil on my hands. Now we're ready to get into this dough.
All right, as you can see, I'm getting pretty decent amount of oil on this dough so that it's easier to handle. I'm no dough maker, I'm no pizza maker. I've told you guys this before, so don't judge me. All right, I'm just gonna start moving this around with my hands until I get it to the shape I want and the thickness that I want. I don't ever mind leaving a little bit of thickness on the edge because I think it gives it a nice chewy crust. But I do want to stretch this out to fit most of my pan. You can see I've got a little hole there. Let's fix that. Don't be afraid to work this dough. Once we get that dough the way we want it, we're gonna add some pizza sauce. I don't really feel like red pizza sauce is appropriate for this pizza. When I eat a Philly cheesesteak, I dip it in ranch dressing, so that's gonna be the pizza sauce. Now, if y'all never use Aldi's buttermilk ranch, you're missing out. In my opinion, there is no better ranch under any brand. And yes, I am still unpaid and unofficial when it comes to my love of Aldi. I don't want to go crazy with this sauce. Just enough to get a little bit all over the whole crust. Now, I like to get my onions and my green peppers on next because I want everything on top of them. They haven't been cooked and I want them to be able to get the juices and everything melted into them so that they'll get a little bit soft but still have a tiny bit of crunch. So those are gonna go on right after our sauce. You can see that I've cut my onions kind of like you would if you're making Philly cheesesteak and same with my green peppers, just kind of in some strips. And now we're ready to add our meat. 14 ounces of shaved beef is plenty for two pizzas. So all you would need is one more package of pizza dough. But I'm only making one today, so I'm going to use all of the meat on this one pizza. It's a little bit excessive, and again, really this is enough for two pizzas, but I don't have a need for two pizzas today, so we're just going with this. Now that we've got that on, it's time for that cheese. Now I know this is a topic of great debate. Up in Philly, they use Cheese Whiz. Personally, I like provolone on my Philly cheesesteak. So we're just gonna put some nice slices of provolone all around this pizza. And I'm gonna take this even one step further and do a little mozzarella on there. Just basically filling in the holes with that. I've got a little Italian seasoning here gonna lightly sprinkle that across the top of our pizza. Now this is ready to go in our 475 degree oven. As you can imagine at 475 degrees this pizza doesn't need to cook very long. Start checking it at about the 10 minute mark but chances are it's probably gonna need to go somewhere around 12 to 14 minutes. Y'all, this is a beauty, and this skillet is hot. This pizza is absolutely gorgeous.
This recipe combines everything that's right about pizza with everything that's right about a Philly cheesesteak. The edge of this pizza is not too thick. It's crispy and it's chewy. The inside is like an incredible Philly cheesesteak. There's just so many things right about this pizza. Most of us need to tighten our belt right now and save money any way we can. Making your food at home instead of eating out all the time is a great way to do that. I hope you'll come back to my channel for more quick, easy, delicious, affordable recipes. Don't forget, on Thursdays I do quickie videos, less than five minutes, and a music trivia question at the end. I really hope you have a good week ahead. Until next time, turn off the TV, turn on some music, and just keep jamming.